Hello and welcome, this is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today we have a collaboration hop featuring products from Hero Arts, one of the new Kendra's Card Challenge 14 super sponsors this quarter. Me and a few members of the video team and some guest designers will be sharing projects made with products from Hero Arts using the Kendra's Card Challenge number 14 sketches. And I'll be sharing how to make a trifold see-through shaker card using sketch number 14. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a digital download prize from me. So Hero Arts let us pick out some goodies to create with, and these are the products that I'll be using for my card today. And they are some under the sea or ocean themed products. And this is the metal die set here called Sea Creatures. And it has an octopus, a shell, some coral, a seahorse, a crab, a turtle, and a starfish. And I'll be using this Stampin' die set here called Sea Quotes. And as you can see, there are several different sea themed quotes and you can cut around them with the coordinating dies. And I'm going to be using these with sketch number 14 from challenge 14. And this is the one that has the circle cut out and the banner. And it's a great sketch for making a shaker card. But I'm going to change this up and make this a portrait card instead of a landscape card. And it will be a trifold card with the see-through window. So for the pattern paper, I found this paper pack by Sheena and it's called Treasures of the Deep. And I thought this would be perfect to use with these uh, sea themed products. Uh, products so um, this is an 8x8 eight eight paper pad and I'll just quickly flip through these different patterns here and I'm setting the ones aside that I plan to use but um, my challenge as you if you're familiar with my channel if you've watched my channel before the challenge is designed to give instructions on how to cut six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern papers to make 15 cards but you can also use it to make just one card since all of the sketches have the measurements on it on the printable so with the cutting guides that's on the printable you can easily cut the papers but I'm going to trim this sheet down and I'm going to use the easy wonder die number one to cut out paper F since it has the stitching elements on each of the pieces. So I will have some extra pieces that I won't be using for today's card, but being able to easily cut out that circle makes this die super handy to have. For the sea creatures, I'm using the metal dies with these panels that I created with Lunar Paste for a previous project not too long ago. I just spread out the different colors onto some white cardstock, but I mixed two colors together here for this teal color, and then I've got this green, and then this beautiful rosy pink color, and then this bright hot pink color, and then I also have some blue, and some gold, and also purple, but I'll have to look up the exact names of the Lunar Paste, and I'll list those down below, but I will have a list of all of the supplies that I use to make this card down in the description box in case you're interested in purchasing any of these items. Now these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I receive a small commission at no extra cost to you, and this helps to support my channel. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, I offer a free PDF printable with cutting guides for six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper, where you can make 15 cards using the sketches that are also provided. Now this challenge runs from April 1st to June 30th of 2024, so it is available to download for free during the quarter. Now if you join the challenge and post your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win one of many prizes valued at over $1,000 from over 20 different companies, including here Hero Arts, and they have generously offered a $25 gift certificate as a quarterly prize for participating in the challenge. For more information about the challenge, I will link the Challenge 14 introduction video above and in the description box below, which explains more about it and how to enter to win the challenge prizes. I've already cut out all of my pieces using my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine, and I'll be building a scene on the outside and the inside of the card with these. I have some extra banner pieces here since I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but I also cut two pattern paper panels that measure four by five and a quarter inches. And for my card base, I'm using this half sheet of teal heavyweight cardstock that I've scored at five and a half inches to have a top folding card, and this other panel will go on the inside of the card. So to make the tri-panel part of this card, I'm taking a sheet of 80 pound white cardstock and cutting it at four inches, and then again at 10 and a half inches so that I can have an inside card base. 
and this panel will completely cover up the white. I've scored the inner card base at five and a quarter inches and then after gluing the panel on top I'm gluing this inside the card base upside down. Before I glue anything down I need to cut out my circle out of the front of the card base and that panel so I'm just aligning the square piece with the hole on top of the darker panel and I'm taping the circle die on top with some low tack masking tape and this circle die is from the Hero Arts nesting circle die set it's almost the same size as the stitch circle hole in my square piece maybe just a smidge smaller but I ran this through my die cutting machine to cut these out at the same time and this next part here where I'm gluing down the panel I didn't think about the back acetate piece that I needed to add here and until after I glued this down so my suggestion would be to add an acetate piece on top of the circle but behind the panel first so that you don't have to do what I end up having to do here in a moment and I also recommend waiting to glue the white inside card base down until after you've done your stamping and you'll see why also here in a moment mm -hmm. Before gluing down the front pieces, I decided to break out my chalk ink so that I could run it around the edges to get rid of the white. Of course, this isn't necessary, but I thought it just kind of added more to the card. Um, next, I took a scrap piece of the pattern paper and I stamped the sentiment dive right in on top using some VersaFine Claire Twilight ink. And this is a dark blue color and since it's a pigment ink and stays wet longer than dye based inks I added some clear embossing powder on top to be able to heat emboss and make this shiny so I let my heat gun heat up for about 30 seconds before I started to apply it and I melted the powder on top and then I cut out the sentiment using the coordinating dye now for the inside of the card, I stamped Seize the Day along with the little wave stamp onto the other panel. And I realized I couldn't use my stamp wheel to do this because I'd already glued it to the outer card base and there's that lip on the stamp wheel. So I had to bring in my other stamping platform to stamp it. And because it was already glued down, I decided not to heat emboss this one. And then next I cut off the turtle's head and the legs so that... Um, from that teal piece so that I could just have the shell to glue on top of the green turtle and I tried to color in his eye with a dark gray marker but then the eye fell out so you'll see what I do here in a minute and since there are dots on the turtle's head and legs I used my Copic marker BG 49 to color on top of the green lunar paste to somewhat match the shell so um, for the front of this card I added a piece of acetate that was cut to three and a half inches to the back of the square piece with the circle cut out and then after fiddling around with the placement a bit this is when I realized that I should have added the acetate behind that dark layer so I ended up having to cut out another square with the circle cut out for the inside of the card to cover up the piece of acetate that now has to go on the inside of the card instead of behind the panel just to keep those shaker pieces in and then while also cutting out this extra piece I cut the same shape out of some fun foam using the easy wonder die but you could also use foam tape instead I just thought this would be easier since I had it and then I glued that to the back of the acetate um, and then I attached the inside piece also and I guess it got a little bit warped during the cutting process so I ended up having to trim off some of the fun foam along two of those edges and then before attaching the pieces down I just wanted to make sure how I liked it how it would be placed and then I ran some anti-static powder along both pieces of acetate before adding the shaker bits I have three different bags of shaker bits that I that match this project and I was having a hard time deciding which one to use but I decided just to go with the green since it matched the turtle and just to kind of break up all of the blue so I added those shaker bits and then added some glue and carefully placed that on top trying to make sure that I lined it up so that the layer was even around all the sides and then I took some of the scraps of that fun foam and added it to the back of this one inch piece down here at the bottom to pop that up also and then I added um, the darker ban banner I thought that that looked pretty good and then I glued the sentiment over on the far left while I assemble the rest of this card, I will tell you how to enter the giveaway for this hop. 
So for a chance to win a digital download from me, you'll want to complete the form that's linked in the description box below and then hop along and watch the other videos in the playlist. You can complete the form for each video that you watch for more chances to win, but you'll want to do this by April 25th of 2024. And the winner will be randomly selected and announced on my community tab here on the Cards by Kendra YouTube channel. So make sure you're a subscriber and have those notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my posts, as you will need to claim your prize if you're the winner. I'd like to take a moment to thank Hero Arts for being a super sponsor this quarter and for sending us some products to create with. I hope you'll check out the rest of the card making inspiration that we have in store for you on this hop. You'll find a link to the playlist with all of the videos in the hop down in the description box below. Now I really love how this card turned out and I hope that this inspires you to look at the sketches in new ways. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and also tell me if you've ever made a see-through shaker card. I really hope that you'll join us for challenge number 14 for a chance to win some awesome prizes. And I look forward to seeing your creations in the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group. If you're not already a member, there's a link down in the description boxes for this as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon, and I hope you have a wonderful day.